Hello everyone and welcome to a new series for the channel I like to call Behind the Gate. Did you see the Deloise? <laughs> the Deloise is masterful. For this series we're going to look at more of the behind the scenes kind of aspects of the Stargate universe to explain those weird things that happen sometimes like why they'll kill a character off only for him to come back later. It just happened to a few characters now I think about it. However, this specific topic was requested by Michael Martinez. I was originally going to do a full Dr. Weir video, but no. I'm gonna love with you guys, I don't really like doing big character videos. With smaller characters, it's easier to gain a lot of information on them. But when you're dealing with characters who are like in every single episode for a series, it's really hard to gather a lot of information on them. Especially when I rely on the fandom page to get some of my notes, and they aren't always correct on stuff. And the specific case of Weir is because they put something out of order, so yeah, I decided just to skip that and do a straight new series thing. So the question asked by Michael Martinez was what happened to the blonde Weir? I don't really care. For those of you who don't remember, don't worry, I forgot about it myself. Dr. Elizabeth Weird was originally played by Jessica Steen for two episodes, The Lost City Parts 1 and 2. After this, she was immediately replaced by Tori Higginson for the rest of SG-1, as in for the next two episodes she appeared in, The New Orders Part 1 and 2, and later on became one of the main characters for the spin-off series Stargate Atlantis. I think they're kind of hot. They're, they're all, um, they're very tall, very sort of statuesque, um, beautiful long flowing locks, wonderful smiles, really warm nice smiles. Oh they're hot man. You date one? I'd, I'd date one. This naturally raises the question, why? Well, I'm gonna be honest with you guys, I couldn't really find a good clear answer. By looking this up, I found tons of reasons why other actors left the show, but I couldn't really find one for Jessica. I could only really find two possible explanations. The first was posted on her website, although apparently it was taken down quite a while ago. We don't know why. When Jessica was hired for the two-part season 7 finale, Lost City, she was told that her character might be in a possible Stargate spin-off series. Jessica was even paid not to take any other work until it was decided if they were going to do the spin-off. Stargate, Atlantis was eventually given the green light, but for whatever reason, the powers that be decided to go with another actress. However, another explanation was stated on Wikipedia where she just didn't want to relocate to Vancouver, though they don't really cite where they're getting their information on this is. So yeah, that's why Dr. Elizabeth Weir isn't a blonde. I have to admit, that's kind of underwhelming, especially when I heard about some of the other reasons other actors have left the franchise. I should also note the actress herself is fine. She apparently has done quite well for herself. One of her more notable roles was a special agent on NCIS, which I didn't watch and have zero interest to watch, and from what I understand is still acting to this day. Her most recent role was Lisa Stillman in this TV series Heartland. Once again, I don't know anything about it and do not care to learn. And this has been the first episode of Behind the Gate. I have to admit, I kind of thought there'd be a more interesting story here, but I guess not. But if you guys want me to look into some other stuff, maybe you can leave a comment and a like and subscribe. And remember... What about negotiating? Oh, for crying out loud, that's Durantis.